Well, hello, everyone. I figured I'd uh, show you what I'm doing mo most recently. I'm sitting there. I've been talking about how I use Nina and APT at the same time. So I figured I'd give a quick go through. I don't advise this for everybody. I'd, I'm very familiar with APT. That's why I haven't switched over to Nina. Uh, but who knows? Uh, for now, this is what I'm doing and it works uh, really well. So I've Got APT up and running. I'm going to go to my object, which is the, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, first, got to connect everything. Connect the scope. Telescope connected. Unpark it. And connect the focuser. Focuser connected. And connect the filter, filter wheel. Filter wheel connected. And I'm going to keep it on luminosity. It's supposed to get cloudy, like, in an hour, maybe not even. So I'm gonna to try to pick up some more luminosity for this site that I'm doing, uh, this object I'm doing, and let's go to it right now. It is, I've got it in my to-do list. It's actually NGC 4247. I've been working on it forever in a hand basket due to weather and poor field of view in my house. So been taking me a while but anyways it's going to the object right now <clears throat> all right notice it's on live view right now that's why it's spinning around yeah i don't even know if it's really that clear right now out I mean, it's looking it's sort of hazy you know it's one of these nights so we'll see we'll see if i pick up data if i don't get any data tonight that this is the end of this object because uh, the moon's gonna be coming out pretty over the next few nights and it'll completely block it out eh, I guess it doesn't look that bad actually it looks like the stars are pretty good right now not not too bad but here's here's the deal I'm going to turn off live view okay and I'm going to boot up Nina so my camera and APT right now is not taking pictures it's on it's connected everything's connected it's just not taking pictures so it's not doing anything right now and you want to leave it that way. You don't want to have Nina's camera and APT's camera operating at the same time. So we'll turn on the camera and Nina. <clears throat> okay. We'll turn on the filter wheel. And we'll turn on the focuser. Okay. And we'll come over here to imaging. Now, it's not a picture yet because I gotta turn the camera on. I'm gonna put it on filter and we'll put it on luminosity. One to one binding and press enable. And it's gonna take a picture every five seconds. That's the exposure time. And there it is. Wow they look pretty good. They, they don't look that bad actually those stars. What I want to do now is I'm gonna turn on stars. And now it's going to register the stars. So it's seeing 51 stars right now. And the average HFR is 3.04. Now, that's a little bit on the high side. So for me, anyways, I've been getting, it looks looks pretty good, but I've been getting down below 2, like 2.6 on average. And boy, that's looking not too bad. I mean, it's already focused. Anyways, what I do now is I'm going to autofocus. I might as well autofocus since I've got it here. So we're, what we do to do autofocus is we turn off the repeating schedule and turn on autofocus and start. It was Queeve, the lazy geek in Japan, who mentioned turning off the exposures while you're doing autofocus. He says it goes quicker because otherwise you got competing images. I did not know that. Okay, there it is. Oh, look at that curve. Beautiful curve. I love these. I love Nina's curves. So let's go back to imaging or image. And we'll turn on the enable imaging and we'll see what it did. Oh, look at that, 
So much better. It was round three. Now it's 2.39, 2.4. So that's really good. 2.28. Ooh, this is the best focusing I've had in a couple days. So they, they change every day. The sky conditions with, with, are going to do something like that. But usually this is a good focus for me. So now what I do, I'm going to go back to APT. But first I'm going to turn off the camera in particular. I don't really believe I have to turn out the focuser or the filter wheel. I just do for giggles. But make sure the I have to make sure the camera is off because that will affect uh, APT. And then what I do, well, these things here, you just minimize this stuff here. And then what I do is I just minimize this because I'll turn it back on. I'll check focusing while I'm imaging. So now what I'm going to do is something I forgot to do. Usually I would go to point craft and plate solve uh, before I would do the... Image solved. Autofocus. And that's the beauty of doing this autofocus in Nina. You can be on the object and have it do focusing, checking focusing while you're on the object. And you don't have to go back to another star or anything like that. Exposure you can do it started. all while you're on the object. So once you're already lined up on your object, you can stay there. Exposure that's finished. That's what I really love about it. Go to plus plus finished. Okay, we're set. Cool. I'll just sync the scope just for giggles here. Close that off. And now I'll just turn on the camera. I select the plan. We're doing NC, RGB. That's, I don't think I'm going to get 60. Man, I'll be lucky if I get an hour. And I'll just put up for an hour. I, I don't think I'm going to get that much. I really don't. Let's turn on PhD2. We've been having horrible weather lately, so like I said, I'm not... Uh, this this would be the icing on the cake if I get more data. So Exposure started. I'm, as I said, I'm, if I get an hour, I'm happy, and I'll start processing this image finally. Okay, well, that's it. Maybe I'll come back on and if in an hour and show you how I check it while it's imaging. So stay tuned. Oh, hey, so let me just show you what the, my image looks like. So here's the a 90 second exposure, and this is the main galaxy, NGC 42, uh, 47. These are some other galaxies which are very neat looking. So one thing you can do in APT, you know, here's, here it is on wider screen, you can go over here, and you can turn it to one to one scroll. And now we're in a closer look at what the galaxy looks like. So you got some definition on it. And you can check it in using a focus aid in APT. And that's what it's actually pretty good. 1.11. Exposure that's finished. 1.18. Wow, these are this is really good Exposure focus. Exposure started. Yeah. 1.19, one, yeah, this is really good focus. When it's down that low, the FHD and the FHW, um, APT can do can do this too, but it only does it at one star at a time. And Nina does all the stars that it sees. It takes an average. So that that's what I like about Nina, because each star changes. Anyways, so you can check it with APT, but you can actually check it with Nina, and I'll show you how, how I do that later on. Okay, well, looks like we're in for a real treat tonight. The uh, weather is nice and clear. Can't believe it. So I'm actually going to stop this, and I'm going to go shoot some color now. Uh, I've, I've On this object, I now have over four hours of luminosity, and I've got an hour each of red, blue, and green. So I might capture, if, if the weather holds, I might capture another, like, 10 or 15 minutes on each color, uh, each color of RGB. So we'll see what happens. Let's take a look in Astrophotography Tool, see if our, if it changed any bit. That is the, the focus aid. That's still, and then the, wow, oh man, that's Exposure finished. And look at that definition in that galaxy. It looks real good. Okay. 
now we'll turn off uh, one one preview and go to a whole preview. So I'm going to stop it now. And then I'm going to turn to the different color. I'm going to start off with, I'm going to go to red, blue, and then green if it still stays clear. Filter uh, green, change. I, green's the color I can care, I care the least about because I can actually make it do a synthetic green if I need be. But I've, I've already got an, an hour's worth of green anyway. So, so anyways, let's uh, go to Nina, which I've already got it open. There it is. And as I said, this is the beauty of Nina here because it can focus while it's still on the object. I don't have to go to another bright star. So I'm going to turn the camera. Camera connected in Nina now. Turn on the filter wheel. And notice the filter wheel already reads red because I switched it in APT. So it's reading both, which is what I like. And also, and notice the camera. I've got the camera set at uh, minus 10 degrees, even in uh, Nina as well. So when it switched, it, the, it went off, but it came out in Nina and went to 10 degrees. So we're going to go to imaging. And we're going to switch this thing to red. But it's already on red anyways. And we're going to turn on. Oh man, it's geez, it's still looking that yeah, is looking pretty good. 2.76. That was better than it was before when I um do I do an autofocus or not? Because that looks pretty good. Yeah, 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 whatever, what the hell. Let's do it. Go to autofocus, and I'll turn it off here. Like I said, I'm I'm happy now. I got I've I've got enough data on this. Even if I don't get anything else, it's fine. But this is the icing on the cake. I wasn't uh, envisioning getting this much data on this object. I'm just happy it's clear out. I'm really hoping it stays clear until like twelve or one. And the reason is I'm imaging another object that doesn't come up and or I can't get it until like 1130 and I need green and blue, but I need an hour and a half or so on each one. And so that's another three hours. So, um, and it's going to be cloudy for the next week and the moon's coming up. And it's a dark nebula, so if it was going to be clear till, till like 2 or 3 in the morning, I'd be in heaven. But uh, alas, whatever. Okay, let's see what this did for us. It was 2.7, 2.8 before I did anything. And that, that, that's actually pretty good. So we'll see what this does, if it improved it any bit. Looks like it did, but I, okay. Let's see what it did. Image, and we'll turn it on. Yeah, so it was better before. <laughs> it's not good, a second. Sometimes it goes down. Yeah, there it goes, 2.7. All right, so it's probably left it around the same thing as it was before, which is pretty good. I'd say I improved a little bit, 2.6. Okay, good. I'm happy. So now we're going to go back to APT and we're going to start taking some pictures. This is the camera, filter wheel, focuser. I mean, yes, this is a pain in the neck to do this, but it's really not too bad. I could do this in the house too. So, we're in the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whenever you turn off Nina, it does these, lets you know it's everything's off. So, in the camera, we'll go to edit and we're going to go to red. And yeah, let's see, 20 minutes of that stuff. 20 minutes of red. 
Let's see if we get we get it. That's fifteen because I've got it on ninety seconds. So fifteen images. Exposure started. All right. We'll see. Red, green, and then blue. Man, I am so happy. I it worked. So I'm I'm done with this object. So you might see it's it's flashing now because it's in the tree. So what I'm going to do right now is stop PhD two. Exposure two, finished. And I'm actually going to stop my imaging Exposure started. for now because I'm in the tree, so it's no good anymore. And I'm going to go to the new object. So I'm not guiding. I'm going to blast over to the new object that I've been shooting. And I'm still going to, and I have to shoot green on the new object, so I might as well keep the filter where it is. So when I get a point grab, go to, what the hell am I doing? Oh, I got to go to objects first. LDN 183, it's a dark nebula. I like dark nebulas. So anyways, let me click on it again, just in case I think I screwed up last time. So yes, I am very happy that uh, it stayed clear. Do a live view, see what it looks like. Probably doesn't look much of anything. Tire fit, there it is. And I'll turn off point craft again because I don't want to be guiding yet because I got I have to plate solve it and just make sure we're on it. And I'm using that AST plate solver. It usually goes pretty quick. Image solved. Famous last words. Sync. So as you can see, I'm blasting through APT pretty quickly, and that's why I haven't really switched to Nina uh, fully, because uh, I, I just know APT started. so well. Okay, now I'm going to go check out the stars. It's starting to guide. Let's turn that again. Auto select star. And let's see it. Well, I guess that is good. All right. Now we're going to move to camera, LRGV, and I don't want to do that one yet. I'm just going to go over here and edit this. We're in green and 45. I don't think I'm going to get 40 at all. Exposure started. We're living on borrowed time here, as it were, with, with this cloudy weather. Oh, you know what? I wanted to check Nina out firsthand. Hold on, I'm going to stop this, all right? And I'm going to go open up Nina, and I just want to check my focus. I just got done auto focusing it. Um, a little bit ago, and and I already fo auto focused it on the green, so I want to see how well it's still doing or not well it's doing i don't know because i did a meridian flip here so sometimes that affects everything all right so it's 24 stars which is pretty small this this area is a dark nebula so it's kind of dim but look at that hfr that is really good Ooh. so i've got really good focus right now that's all i want to do is just check out to make sure my focus is focus is really good and and it is i'm i'm that's it turned out to be a really clear night. So I, I, that's what I'm saying. I am just really happy because this was unexpected. So now that I've checked out the focusing, made sure that's uh, good, I'll go back to imaging. Exposure started. All right, well, I think that's it for this video and I hope you uh, got something off from it and we'll see you later.